My name is Brother Barnes and I want to show you how to do an outlier boundary calculation by hand. I got this out of Navidi's book, page 136. Notice in my discussion and conclusion that I have the reference for this book. I had the good opportunity to take statistics last summer. We did an experiment on the density of wood and the density of water is one gram per cc and we were predicting that the density of wood we would be less since it floats in the water. Notice that the average density according to this box plot is 0.5. Well, I have a couple of data points singing out of tune and so I wanted to see if these would be considered outliers officially. And there's a way to determine this by calculating the boundary the upper boundary and the lower boundary. Well, the first thing one needs to do is to find the interquartile range. The third quartile is 0.51, the first quartile is 0 0.47, 0 0.51 minus 0.47 is 0 0.04. To find the lower boundary to check this 0.37 data point, quartile one minus the product of 1.5 times the interquartile range. So we know that quartile one is 0.47. We can see it right here. Subtract the product 0.06. 1.5 times 0.04 is 0 0.06. 0.47 minus 0 0.06 is 0.41. So the lower boundary is 0.41 and 0.37 is outside of that boundary. So it is considered an outlier. In a previous video, I stated that this was not an outlier, so I'm glad I took time to, to do this video so that we could know the truth. Let's talk about the uh, upper boundary for just a minute. The third quartile added to the product of 1.5 times the interquartile range. So 0.51 added to point. 0 0.06 gives 0 0.57, so this 0 0.72 is well outside of the, the upper boundary. Now, let's talk about it for just a moment. This is oak, and these data points all represent pine, and I think this one does as well. Well, if this is oak, it is more dense, and this is not likely an error. It's, this is density of wood, so, you know, oak and pine could be included. They're types of wood. This one, I would like to make a comment in the discussion and conclusion. I would like to comment about this one because I think that the, I think that poss possibly the dimensional measurements of that entry point 37 had a height of 7.5, 7.7, and 8. That's almost a perfect, perfect square. And I don't remember any pieces of wood that were a perfect square. So I think that is faulty. That is partially my fault because I should have had the students measuring numbered box of blocks of wood so that I could recheck, or I should have gone around and checked everyone's measurements all along. So fault me however you like. That is how to do an outlier boundary calculation by hand. This is part of a bigger playlist. Uh, we're writing a lab report, but we're also using uh, Excel, as you can see, to do our calculations. So I kind of love this. I think it's kind of cool. Keep coming back.